The images sent back from the moon during the Apollo missions of the 1970s will forever be remembered by history books. After all, they showed for the first time, human beings toiling away on a world other than their native one. Okay, showed, may be a bit of an overstatement, as all the Apollo vids are low definition, black and white, and so grainy they're borderline annoying. The reasons behind that had to do with the technologies available at the time. Not only were most of the cameras sent to the moon black and white, but the bandwidth available was so limited that even the color ones of later Apollo missions didn't send back crystal clear images. That will change of course, as soon as the crew of the Artemis 3 mission will set foot on the surface of the moon in 2027. As per the European Space Agency, one of the major NASA partners for Artemis, the videos we'll see two years from now will be color, digital, and running at 60 frames per second. It's unclear at this time what such capabilities will mean in terms of actual hardware. That's because, as the European Space Agency itself says, sending a video back from the moon is not as easy as uploading a clip to YouTube. Aside from the recording equipment itself, which has to survive extreme conditions, including temperature, dust, and light, the videos themselves will have to tackle the challenges of signal delay and bandwidth. To get a sense of what 60 frames per second HD videos from the moon will require, the ESA is currently running a series of tests in a special facility called Luna, Engineers are using different technologies and approaches in a bid to determine what the best hardware for recording and transmitting would be. The findings so far, gained during a simulated moonwalk at the German facility, point to HDR video being the most suitable to show detail in shadowed areas of the moon. During the actual missions, clips will be shot by astronauts' cameras, including the ones that will be built into their suits, and sent back to Earth through whatever means available. For the Artemis 3 mission, it's likely astronauts will have to make do one way or another to send videos back to Earth, but subsequent missions will take advantage of a constellation of five lunar satellites that will be placed in lunar orbit by ESA before the end of the decade. Later on, there is even talk of integrating laser-based optical communication systems into everyday lunar operations. According to the space agency, the videos recorded during moonwalks will be sent directly to Houston, where they will be decoded and then shared with the public.